Get you that monocle. Yeah. I heard you're tough. Are you tough? Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. Depends. <laughs> Depends on what? I don't know. You don't know? My beautiful Suffix, today I want to put you guys into a show from 2021 called Dope Sick. Well, well, we all know you're trying to steal a husband in that mine. Don't ever forget. Yes, ma'am, I, I won't forget. First things first, this is one of the most compelling series I have seen in a while. somewhere else. The series explores the Sackler's role in the opioid crisis and the Oxycontin aggressive marketing, showing how minor pains were treated with opioids despite addiction risks. Among these stories are those of Betsy and Grace. Well, wh where would we go? I, I gotta stay in the mountains. I know. I found a place. Eureka Springs, Arkansas. It's a mountain town, sky friendly. We can go live there. Do they have mines? <laughs> what? No, I'm trying to get you out of the mines. I, I don't, I don't want to get out of the mines. Is this a lesbian show? No, but Betsy is one of the main characters. You choose Cole over me? Of course not. No, come, Grace. come away with me. <sighs> Cole is a job. It's not a life. Oh, look at you. You're in pain right now, and you're pretending you're not so you can keep going down there. That's no way to live. Betsy is a closeted lesbian when her story begins in the late 90s. Proud to be the only woman working in the mines with her father. She lives with her parents, who are very religious and very conservative. Hey, Adeskin, how's your back? Same. You gotta try acupuncture, it really works. Is that some sort of lesbo voodoo? <laughs> yeah, after your first session, you finally get to eat some pussy. Great. <laughs> Please refrain from that kind of language around my daughter. Next time I'll say vagina. Dear Lord, please, uh, we give thanks for this good food that you provided us. Please uh, protect my beautiful wife, precious daughter, and uh, please keep the mind open so we can continue to enjoy this good food. Her refugee, a trailer, sparkling with Christmas lights where she and her girlfriend dream of an open life outside their hometown. I'm ready. For what? I want to do it. I want to move to Eureka Springs. Are you kidding me? I've been feeling a lot better this past week. And I realized you were right. Cole's a job. It's not a life. I want my life with you. Your face is so pretty, Bats. It should never be covered in sun. The show is well-written, provocative, emotionally charged, gut-wrecking, informative, and above all, eye-opening. This may be hard for you to hear, but uh, I like girls. I always have. Not just as friends. And I know, I know Dad is going to be real upset, but maybe you could talk to him and tell him that nothing is going to be different. I'm, I'm still the same person. I'm sorry, dear. Did you say something to me? No. But the show is not about her sexuality, and instead it tells the story of her addiction. Oh, tell him to leave. We'll go pray for leave, you. Leave, Mom! You're gonna have to take some time off. You can't go down the mines like that. I'll talk to the management myself. No, they won't listen to you. I can't lose my job. I gotta make enough money to get out of here. What are you talking about? I've never told no one this before. I delivered you. You can tell me anything. Um, uh... Beth. I know. 
Although it is not an easy watch, I open my eyes to a world I barely knew existed. Tragedy strikes when Betsy suffers a severe back injury at work. This incident introduces her to Oxycontin, prescribed by her good friend, Dr. Phoenix. It's not a day goes by that I don't think of Shelly since I lost her. People shouldn't be allowed to love somebody as much as I loved her. If you uh, go and get out of here, well, then you do that. I'll even help you if you need it. A character who, by the way, I adore. There's a new drug that I've been reading about the journals. Say it's a miracle drug. I don't know about that. The FDA and journals all say it's safe. Now I'm gonna give you enough for a three-day supply. You take one now, and then you take one in the morning. All right? Okay. All right. Little did she know that these would mark the beginning of a very painful journey. Prescribed as a pain relief. Oxycontin quickly becomes Betsy undoing, and what starts as a medical necessity very quickly spirals into a destructive addiction. Looks better. How's it feel? Feels a lot better. Good. That's what I want to hear. So, uh, it's been four weeks. I want to taper you off the meds. Let's see, starting Monday, I want you to take one pill a day until next Monday, and then we're going to stop altogether. Oh, okay. Okay. Sounds good. And if you have a problem, you call me. Betsy is vulnerable in ways that she can't quite articulate herself. Strong enough to have made it this far, but only by an inch. What was going on? Hi, Betsy. My name is Eric Miller, and I'm a member of the AA community here in town. Everyone in this room is here because we're very concerned for your health and your safety. You lied to me at the station. I... I came here because your mom asked me to. Your daddy and I don't care about anything other than you getting better. All that other stuff, Bets, doesn't matter. Just doesn't matter. Caitlin's performance is raw and heartfelt, and easily dope-sick most compelling portrait. I heard you that night when you told me you liked girls, and I've been killing myself for years. I didn't say nothing. I feel like this all happened because I stayed quiet that night. It didn't. And I want you to know that when you're better, I want you to have a girlfriend. And I'll cook you both dinner and breakfast and anything you two want. Sadly, this story doesn't have a happy ending, but it is an amazing show and totally worth of your time and attention. However, if you are in the mood for something more a bit featuring Caitlin Denver, I highly recommend Book Smart. For someone who has no idea what they're doing, you kind of know what you're doing. <laughs> that's a... Ah, um, <laughs> that's cool. Also, it has now been confirmed that Caitlin Denver will play Ellie's antagonist, Abby, in the second season of The Last of Us, and that Isabella Merced has been cast as Dina. Every guy in this room is staring at you right now. Maybe they're staring at you. Or not. Maybe they're jealous of you. I'm just a girl, not a threat. I hope you enjoyed today's video and thank you so much for watching. 